In this one, I'll be showing you how you can survive cold and hot in LEGO Fortnite, both cold and freezing, as well as hot and even burning. There's a few things that we need to think about. Essentially, in order to survive, you either need to craft food that gives you a temporary boost or items that give you a permanent boost. If we have a look at our crafting bench here, you'll see that on the charms tab, which is the third one here, we'll have health charms and things like that, but we have a cool headed charm here. If we find sand shells in the desert and combine all of these, we'll get a small boost in resistance to hot temperatures, which will essentially push the hot side of your bar even further away. As you can see, the cold side is much bigger than the hot side of my bar, just below my health, which is now flashing in the top left, meaning that I have some resistance towards it. If I were to drop my two cold charms here, you'll see that that sensitivity to heat grows quite a bit. If I were to pick them up and wear them on my person once more, you'll see it gets smaller and with the second one even smaller. We can use three charms at once to give ourselves a huge boost and you'll basically need three of these uncommon cool headed charms in order to survive the lava caves in the desert. You can use these charms to give yourself a permanent boost but what you can also do is collect snowberries to give yourself a temporary boost. As you can see this snowberry shake gives me a 10 minute resistance to heat and if we were to collect the actual berries themselves, which we use to do this, I've got a few growing in my farm over here, so snowberries, you'll see that these give me a two minute boost in heat resistance. Essentially eating one of these is the same as having one of these on my head. This effect doesn't stack, so you can only have one going at a time. So to survive the really hot caves, I'll have two of these on my head and I'll consume a snowberry shake, which lasts 10 minutes, giving us pretty much a complete protection against the heat. Although we can't exactly swim in the magma, we can run around and not really worry about losing health at all. Usually when you start getting into the hotter or colder side, you'll start to gradually lose health. But when you get to the freezing and boiling side, you really quickly lose health and you'll probably lose your stuff far away from your base. So right now it's not a huge threat, but if we simply get undercover from the rain, which is making me cold, that cold effect goes away. Anyways, if we were to collect snowberries and head across to a juicer, which I can't use in the rain, great. You can essentially take two snowberries and some milk to a juicer where you can create yourself a snowberry shake. This will last for 10 minutes instead of two, so it's definitely worthwhile doing. That is for the hot areas of the map where you'll really start losing HP quickly inside of the magma caves. But even worse is the cold snowy areas as you lose health pretty much as soon as you step foot within the windy area, which is why I haven't explored this at all. For these, you'll need to keep yourself warm. These you'll unlock later in the game in the crafting table here. You'll see that I've got inner fire charms here using wool thread, bright core, blast core and ruby, which we all find from the half mentioned lava caves in the desert. We can create two of these ones again to give ourselves a good resistance to cold. And on top of this, we can eat peppers, which we find in the desert to give ourselves a temporary boost. So two charms plus a pepper is probably more than enough to survive even the coldest areas of the icy biomes. Peppers look something like this. You'll find them growing on bushes. These are the domesticated bushes. And when we collect spicy peppers, we'll be able to eat them for a two minute boost of cold resistance. But this one's a bit more advanced. If we collect ourselves wheat and take it across to a grain mill where we make wheat grain from wheat. So stay with me. We'll turn our wheat into wheat grain, which is essentially wheat seeds. Then we'll take these and craft ourselves some flour. So I'll change the recipe and craft ourselves one flour. With this, we can then take our flour, if we have inventory space that is, we can take our flour across to a barbecue or grill in order to create ourselves a spicy burger. This gives us a 10 minute resistance to cold using one flour, one spicy pepper and one meat. So if I grab some here and select the recipe, then chuck in one of each, we should be able to cook ourselves a burger, but oh, there we go. For some reason it didn't work. Anyways, we'll be able to cook ourselves a burger. And when we consume this, not only do we get four hearts, but we get a 10 minute resistance to cold, which is huge. It's a great food source and a great way to stay warm in the cold areas. So essentially, you'll be getting by with charms and food. The only extra bonus item that I can throw in is a torch. If you were to create a torch that you hold from the crafting table here, so this one over here, using three wooden five vines, you can actually pull this out into your offhand by placing it here. And when you're walking around, you'll get a small boost in temperature towards the hot end, giving yourself an edge over the cold if it's really, really cold. This will come in especially handy in icy caves, etc. Anyways, you now know how to survive the extreme temperatures in Lego Fortnite, both hot and cold. So thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.